um, I, I have no idea how good the, uh, the video quality is going to be here because I'm in a staircase so uh, one second right so um, if I look crap it's because I've been crying um, I kind of just wanted to record something to take my mind off of things because uh, I'm having a bit of trouble at the moment uh, with, a, with a college course. Namely, that uh, I'm pretty sure at the rate that I'm going, I'm going to fail it. And that will be a grand down the drain. Now, I knew full well what I was getting into when I started. What I didn't realise though is just how much these things can feel rushed sometimes. I'm doing an intensive barbering course. And intensive meaning that instead of lasting a year, it lasts six months thereabout. So it's not long, and uh, I picked up the haircuts fine. I can do it. I know I can. But I have to do it on an actual person uh, for my assessment, for each of the assessments. And um, I don't have enough confidence to do that as an assessment, I can cut my mate's hair fine in the comfort of my own home. Uh, but doing it for an assessment, I get stressed in classrooms, I get anxious, and I have a really bad crippling fear of failure. Twice now. Twice I have uh, attempted to do an assessment and twice I have had an anxiety attack of the thought of it. The first one was, was me getting in my own head, that's fine. But the second one is sort of the one I wanted to talk, talk about. It, I, I know it's not her fault, but it kind of stemmed from my tutor. Now basically, I'd come in this morning with uh, a little bit of confidence and I wanted to get a client in and do an assessment. But when I walked in the classroom, my tutor, out of concern for me, mind, she's not being nasty, uh, pulled me aside and had a little chat with me. And just one line that she said plummeted my confidence to zero, which was, I really think you should think about what you really want. And the second she said it, the self-doubt started. And I couldn't bring myself to do anything. Half the time I don't understand what triggers my attacks or my lows or whatever you want to call them. I don't even know if that's officially what they are. I guess that's just what it feels like. I've never been to my GP and got tested for anxiety or depression or whatever. But The fact that one sentence, one harmless sentence, completely screwed my head over is just baffling to me. And it, it, it goes to show that even the littlest things can be bad. I'm going to try and talk to her, and I'm going to try and explain that, saying things like that, apparently, uh, doesn't help, <laughs> makes things worse. But um, hopefully I will be able to get over this because I really want to pass this course. It's what I want to do. I just really wish that I was getting more support than we are getting. I mean, even my other classmates agree that some things on this course are absolute bollocks. 
and to be honest, I would not have paid a grand for this course if I'd have known that this is what it was going to be. 700 maybe, but not a grand. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my class and have a chat with my tutor and see if I can sort something out. So, thanks for listening.